It's Sandy Missouri from DIY Balloon Art, Market with Balloons, and Balloon Utopia. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a stoplight column. This is so much fun for all those race car themed birthdays, or train themed birthdays, or race car themed events, or traffic events, or whatever. It's just fun. So let's get started. This is actually one of the few designs that we're going to start from the top and work our way down and then go from the bottom and work our way up. You'll see. And then we'll meet in the middle. All right, so to start with, we're going to take two duplets and we're going to twist them together into a quad. And we're going to wrap that right onto the top of our column there. All right, now we're going to take our red balloons and our uh, um, black balloons. Okay, so you notice that there's a slight size difference here. These ones are probably inflated to about mm, seven and a half inches, and these ones are probably about eight inches, something like that. It doesn't necessarily matter. You just want it to be a slight difference between the two, and you want all of these balloons to be the same size. The reason is so this just slightly sticks out a little bit. It just becomes that much more attention grabbing. All right, so we're gonna turn that into a quad, and we're just gonna twist that on just like so. And we want the two red balloons. We're doing it so that it's a, a two-sided traffic light, so we'll have it both the same on the front and the back. Okay, and now we're going to take another black quad and put it on. And then we're gonna see red, yellow, right? <laughs> and then we're going to take our yellow balloon and our black balloons and put those on. So the red, yellow, and green balloons are all the same size and the black balloons are the same size until we get to the bottom. Okay, and now we're gonna put another set of black balloons on it, like so, and the green balloons. Another one that I've been doing, you, you guys have seen me do it on a lot of the TV sets that I was on, um, just because this is one of my favorite designs for birthdays. Okay, and one more black quad. Okay, so now we're finished with the top. There we go, you can see, and we've got the mirror image on the back. And now we're going to start on the bottom. So, for the bottom, we have our 10 inch quad. That is, the balloons are sized to 9 or 10 inches, and we're going to put that one down. And then we've got our 6 inch quad, and we're going to put that one down. And then we have our little 5 inch balloon sized to 4 inches, and we're going to put that one down. Now we could just leave it like that, but to make it look nice and finished, instead what we're going to do is we're going to take some 260s and we're going to wrap this part of the pole with 260s. So we're going to tie our 260s together, just like so. And you see we have just a little bit of a tail left on them. And the same here. And now we're going to make a quad out of our 260s. And we're going to put it right here in between very bottom quad of the stoplight here, so that we have one balloon coming down like this. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take two of them, and let me turn this so you can see it, and we're just going to twist these together, making a nice little spiral, just like that. Okay? And now we're just going to wrap it onto the pole, following that line, following the spiral we just created. And when we get to the bottom, we're going to wrap it into the 5-inch balloon from here. We'll clean it up later. <laughs> we have scissors. Uh, and so we'll, we'll clean it up and we'll cut that off. Okay, so now the third balloon, we're just going to take and follow that line and wrap it in with the other. Just like so. And the fourth balloon, we're going to do the same thing. is just clean it up a little bit. And I remember the scissors so I didn't have to bite the balloon. I know y'all appreciate that. 
That's how you make a stoplight column.